Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for the update for, what month is it now? Just gone September. So September stitching update. Um, I'm going to start with Gamer Nouveau from Gecko Rouge which I've been stitching on. This month um, it's down in this area so I've I think I had her f part of her fingers in when I started this month so all this bit got the controller in there's Tetris blocks for the background and it's been a bit of a crazy combination of big blocks of this colour and down here on her arms and then insane confetti on these bits which would be the straps of a dress which I'm um, just getting to now but uh, she's finished now for her two week rotation so I've got all that confetti to look forward to when I get back in two weeks on her so she's she's stitched up fairly quickly getting across the row I'm nearly halfway across this row of pages which would be nice nice point to reach um hopefully I'll be able to get that done in October October I'm planning to do another two weeks on her at the end of the month and finish FFO to show you um, I think when I did my my finishes video I uh, talked about whispers um, took her off to the framer and he did a wonderful job getting her done I've uh, gone for a fairly plain black frame but we didn't want to make the overall image too dark so we've gone with the white mount with a dark blue inner mount which kind of I think's nice it sets her off nicely so it's nice to finally have her up on the wall I finished stitching her uh, December last year so it's taken a while to get everything organized to get over to the framer to get her done but uh, she's the biggest framed piece I've got now And another one that I took to the framer, this one is QS Arthur. It's from Heaven and Earth Designs and the artist is Linda Ravenscroft. I've got all four of the Mystic Moggies set, but this is the only one that I've done so far. Um, I finished him middle of last year maybe, um, again. I like to save a few up and go to the frame all in one go because it's quite a trip to get over there. Um, just panning around to show you some of the others that are on the wall. I've uh, got, got a few gaps left. Uh, I think we're going to have to go higher when I get some more done. And there's the cat on oh, my blanket, which is now his blanket. And this is Wherefore Art Thou by Nora Corbett. Um, I've made a load of progress on this one this month. Um, completely finished off that left hand side. And then I've gone on to the clue to and working up the right hand side. So this includes a bit of progress from the first weekend in October. I've changed how I'm working it, um, it feels quicker this way, I'm just going up 10 rows at a time and I've hit the balcony rail now so I'm going to move across and work some more on the green dress but working this way it feels like I'm able to focus more, it's a bit like, more like how I deal with the bigger pieces rather than trying to work out where I'm going to go next which just takes ages. I spent too long looking at the pattern trying to work out my next six colours ahead rather than working on the colour that I've got on my needle. So uh, working this way and parking the thread which is why there's so many dangly threads on this one now and just working my way upwards I'm going to get the whole thing um, stitched up to the balcony rail which 
I'm not really looking forward to I'm just trying to work out how to break that down into pieces because it's just so much grey and so many long rows so I think I found a way to deal with that as well and then after that I'll finish off the clue by working the um, 40 or so rows above that so I've got a plan now with it how I'm going to approach it so I feel I'll be able to make a bit quicker progress on it and this is Death by Cross Stitch by Long Dog Samplers. I um, started it back in August. So I'm working on this one one evening a week. Usually a Wednesday evening. I'll sit and do it. It makes a nice break from the bigger piece. So I've taken the top motif border all the way across. And I've been getting some of the scary bird panels in um, so I'll carry on with the birds while I bring the lines across the top of the motif border so I'll, I'll stitch a section on the bird use one length of thread to stitch the bird and then I'll do a length on one of the straight lines just to to get those done and to break it up a bit the thread that I'm using is a silk, which is an overdyed silk from Paintbox Threads here in the UK, and the colour is SB10. Now it's overdyed, but it's only got a very slight variation in the colours, so you can kind of see where it goes slightly light to dark, but it's very subtle, um, which is good because I don't need to think about the sudden change from light to dark, so I don't have to worry about that so much which means I can jump around a bit more than I would do if I was using just a standard variegated thread. And next we have Eternal Promise from Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, I've finished page 10 now, I actually just put the last bits in yesterday to finish off that page. Um, Page 10, I finally got one of the faces in of the figures where it's Arwen from Lord of the Rings. Um, next page, page 11, I'm going to be getting Aragorn stitched. So it's quite nice to have something to look at other than all of those trees. This really isn't one to stitch if you're not a fan of stitching in browns and greys and greens because most of the pictures made up of seemingly random splotches of colour and then once the page is done you step away from it you suddenly see you've got a tree trunk or a branch full of leaves on there so it's it's really nice enjoyable one to stitch i'm really having fun with this one which is why it's going to stay out i mean it's one of my oldest pieces as well so just kept getting put off for other new shiny projects but uh, I've decided I'm going to devote some time to this now um, along with Gamer and get some progress going and a couple of finishes for the month as well which is nice this one is the Spooked Mystery Stitch Along from Lizzie Kate um, I got the stitching finished fairly early in September but then it took me a while to actually get it pressed and get the beads and buttons on. One of the buttons is in the wrong place on the bottom border, but I don't think anybody had really noticed unless I pointed it out. And it doesn't make it look weird anyway, so I'm just leaving it where it is. I think I stitched them on quite firmly, so they're not moving for anyone. So I need to get this one measured now and get a frame for it. I'll probably uh, order one on one of those online framers. I've used them before. They make the frames up and send them to you and then you just uh, pop the picture in yourself. So I'm okay with pinning and lacing. So I'll, I can do that myself on this size piece. And my other finish for the month. I think I started this one last month. Um, didn't take long to, to get stitched and finished. Um, this is One More Stitch by Little House Needleworks. It's a pattern and the threads come with it as well. 
I used, I actually, I did the top picture first and then I, I decided to do the alphabet second because I was holding on so that I could stitch it for the, now I know my ABCs in the cross stitch finish line group. This month it was the letter D. And I need to dig out something to stitch with the letter E next month. Oh, I think the rules are that you can stitch on any part of it as long as it's got the letter in it so my death by cross stitch would work for that because that one has actually got the letter E even though some of the other letters are missing but uh, yeah it's uh, a nice fun little stitch and I've got a frame for it I just need to get around to getting it pinned and put into the frame but this shouldn't take long to fully finish off so that's it for the month. Um, October uh, still a well starts to get a bit busier in October, so won't have quite so much time for stitching. But I'm hoping to get some more good progress on Eternal Promise and Gamer, most of a page on each of them, hopefully, and. Uh, again continue with the evening a week on death by cross stitch and what weekend time I have do a morning here and there on wherefore art thou as well I may be able to sneak in a few smaller pieces here and there um, hopefully I'll, I'll have a few more things to show you next month but thank you for subscribing thank you for watching and if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks.